Right guys, I'm back. I'm doing an episode with the... F what's it called? Fusion... Fission? Fission reactor, I think. Right, so I've got craft... I've got... <sighs> I have chests here set up with the recipes inside them. So basically, you need to make this to make a basic circuit, four redstone, four copper wire and a bronze plate and you need two basic circuits a diamond six redstone to make an advanced circuit so you use that you make I think it's one of those right, anyway you need to make four motors so it's four steel four copper wire and an iron ingot and give you a motor that you need to make. Make four of these steel steel plates. Obviously this uses a lot of steel and it's real craft steel. So yeah. So basically two of these advanced circuits like this. Four motors. Thing way. Sorry about that, I was um talking to somebody. Um but anyway, it's two steel plates, four motors Two advanced circuits give you a fusion, a fission reactor. So you have one of those in your hotbar. I'll do that in a minute. And you need to make another more and four bronze plate. Bronze plates just the exact same as steel plates. It's just four bronze. So it gives you a reactor turbine, and then you now need to make a thermometer. But anyway, I'll get the reactor done now. A fusion reactor, fission reactor, sorry, and a turbine. So I've got the two that I've made. Acquisition. So you need to make another basic circuit steel, glass, so we get a thermometer. Now you surround the thermometer in steel to make a thermometer. So we'll get one of those. And now you need to make a control rod. So it's just two iron, very basic. And then you need to make a centrifuge, which is an elite circuit. So an elite circuit, I'll just show you that. It's six gold, a lapis lazuli block, and two advanced circuits. So it's no cheap to make. So I'll get all that in. So centrifuge. Control rod. And this one. So you basically put a uranium ore in a centrifuge, make uranium. Three uranium makes a rod. So I'll show you this. I'll just get an unlimited battery. Now unlimited batteries are only used for by ops. So, you don't need to worry about making them. So, put it into this. And should work. I think it needs a redstone. Anyway, we need redstone anyway. Anyway, it takes forever to make it anyway, so I'm leaving it to bother. So, this is basically what we need. And we need is it glass. Well, we didn't need glass, but it's use, useful to have some. Right, we get our sticky piston. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, and then um, the block. So, this is our. Self maintaining reactor, so it's not very complicated to make one. So, let's see if I remember how to make one actually. This is what the fusion re fission reactor looks like. So, 
and then you put the piston in like this put the control rod on top now what this does is actually if it's near the reactor it shuts it off or obviously it controls it like the real thing um, but I still think the real thing is the control rods are made out of lead I think I can't remember anyway we'll surround this then you want to put the thermometer near it now it warns at 2000, if you right click it, it will go down so we'll put it down like 1000 or something and then what you do now is you put lock here lock here so when this gets to 1000 it will emit a redstone signal and obviously we want that redstone signal going to the piston To power this on and off. So we'll do that. I'm going to put it too high. Yeah, too high. This is basically it. Now we want to get the turbines. Place them around outside, like so. So, that. I think you can have four. It's just a rough area. So we need a bucket of water because obviously this produces heat, and the water will evaporate into steam. Yeah, it has to be running water, obviously, so it'll just evaporate and go back. So that's basically this. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of these. And we'll get some cables. And I'll just use superconductor cables. And a advanced battery box. Just need for now. So like this. Battery box. Right. So battery boxes work by power going into the red side and coming out of the black side. So as you can see, there is nothing in it just now. Zero joules of five megajoules. So we will put a rod in here. So it's a uranium rod. Obviously, you've got the hazmat suit. So when you put it in, obviously, near radiation. But if you do this, it puts it in, and you get radiation. Now it will poison you slowly, but there you go. So it starts spinning up the turbines because the temperature is over 100 degrees Celsius, so it evaporates the water. So these are spinning and they will be creating power, as you can see. So it doesn't go up very quick. And I will show you with the lever. So if you ask, put it up, it will stop the reactor. But because it's still above 100, it's still going to evaporate the water. it off and the temperature is now going up so it's basic this but it creates a fair amount of power so that's it for this one I'll do a fusion reactor next time so yes yeah, is basically a self controlling reactor so yeah until then have fun bye guys <laughs>